Mish Levy. I'm a founding member of the International Jewish Anti-Zionist Network. Okay, can you tell us uh, a little bit about the International Jewish Anti-Zionist Network and the work that it does? Um, IGEN is an international network of Jews, Jews around the world that are um, committed to understanding what's happening in Palestine uh, from a perspective and an orientation of Israel being a colonial project um, and needing to get to the roots of that problem in order to solve the rest of the problems and to really understand what's happening there and why. Okay. And uh, there was just an assembly of anti-Zionist Jews here in Detroit before the U.S. Social Forum. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about why that was organized, um, who was there, and what the outcomes are of uh, this assembly? The U.S. Assembly of Jews confronting racism in Israeli apartheid was an incredible opportunity for us to um, gather Jews who um, share the perspectives that we do from all around the country, including uh, in addition to Canada and um, from Europe. And we had a three-day discussion about what does it mean to um, what does it mean to develop and apply an anti-Zionist politic in our organizing and how can we think through our activities in a strategic way that can help shape and inform and influence public opinion in the United States in order to, um, to push this country to hold Israel accountable for its actions. Okay. Can I say something else about IGEN? Oh, sure. Um, IGEN is an international network of Jews that has uh, chapters in uh, Europe and the United States. It does. It has six chapters in the United States across the country, and um, is also building at others. It has chapters in France, England, Switzerland, Spain, um, and is building and organizing in the Netherlands, um, Austria, Germany. Um, we have organizers that we work with inside of 48. In the United States, we have chapters in Los Angeles, the San Francisco Bay Area, um, Chicago, Twin Cities, Atlanta, and are building chapters in New York and Washington, D.C. Um, so what happened at the um, assembly, and what are the you know strategies that were identified for moving forward in this um, means of organizing? Um, the assembly was really exciting in how much energy people brought to it and how ready people were for it. There were uh, 200 attendees and there were over 30 workshops. We had people from all over the country, not, uh, not only major cities. People came out of the woodwork and really valued being able to do the work together. And it felt like a first for a lot of people. Um, we were able to kind of span the conversation all the way from what does it mean to be to, to have an anti-Zionist politic all the way through to developing um, what are the BDS strategies that people are working on, how can we work on them more together, um, how can we um, support each other and do more coordination around what, what organizing looks like in this country. Um, people were also very interested in kind of grappling with what does it mean to do the kind of organizing that's going to be required at this point in the movement where there is so much, um, where public opinion around the world is really, uh, it's becoming so apparent that what Israel is doing is absolutely unacceptable and needs to be that if, if states and the international bodies aren't going to um, hold Israel accountable, what are people around the world going to do, and what are people from inside of the United States going to do, and what are Jews from inside of the United States going to do, and really trying to develop specific strategies from the specific location. And um, why, uh, you know, can you talk a little bit about why it was uh, important for IJN to be here at the U.S. Social Forum, where people are going to be gathering um, around so many different issues that are facing us here in the United States, um, in Palestine, and you know, generally all over the world. I mean, one of the reasons we organize as Jews is not because we feel that we have an identity position that we need to enter the work from, but because it's really strategic and useful 
right now at this particular political moment around around the issue of Palestine to be able to say that there are Jews all over the world that Israel doesn't speak for and for us to be able to kind of carve out this space to stand from means that it allows it allows us to support the social movements that are happening in this country as well as to support and participate in Palestine being a prominent place that those that social movements around the country and around the world are being able to use as a linking point and to really support the Palestinian struggle in this crucial moment um, when there is such an opportunity to make headway as well as to link those struggles and to be a part of that.